Welcome to another video. We will be flashing ESP Home onto a new ESP32 S2 Mini. Open ESP Home in your Home Assistant instance. Click New Device in the bottom right corner and name your device with a friendly and easy to remember name. The device name should be unique, can contain any spaces, and may be 31 digits long, or 24 if add max suffix is set to true. Click next and select skip this step on the next. Select ESP32S2 as the device type. Skip the next step. The new default configuration for the ESP32S2 will be created. Click the three dots menu and select install. Select manual download, since we will be using Adafruit Web Flasher for this, so we need to create an ESP home bin file for flashing using the Adafruit tool. It will start compiling the file, we have to wait until it fully compiles the file, speed depends on your hardware, since I am compiling it on x86 hardware, it will not take too long. The Raspberry Pi 4 you might need to wait a bit longer. Do like and share this video, your likes encourage me to make more videos to explain these simple yet sometimes difficult to understand concepts. Once the file is compiled, click on Modern Format and download the bin file in a suitable location. To put the ESPS2 into device firmware upgrade, DFU, mode. Hold the zero button and press reset button, release button zero when you hear the prompt tone on USB reconnection. Now go to the Adafruit ESP tool website, link in the description below. Click connect, select the ESP32S2 COM port from the menu, and click connect. It will connect to the ESPS2, and will list the chip type, MAC address and flash size. Click choose a file, and select the previously downloaded ESP home bin file. Click erase to erase the memory and start fresh. Click OK on the dialog box which pops up. It will now erase the ESPS2 memory wait for a few seconds to let it complete. When it finishes erasing the ESPS2 flash memory, it will reflect it in the logs. Now click on the program button to start flashing the previously uploaded ESP Home bin file. It will take just a few seconds to flash the ESP Home firmware. Flashing progress can be seen in the progress bar next to our selected bin file. Now to start using our newly flashed ESP Home firmware, just remove the USB cable and replug it. Just wait a few seconds to let ESP boot up and connect to the Wi-Fi network. Click logs and select wirelessly in ESP home dashboard. All important information related to this node can be found in these logs. This device will be auto-discovered in the Home Assistant too. Just click on the configure button to add it from the device and integration page. It will ask for the encryption key, which is mentioned in the ESP home file. Just copy the encryption key from the ESP home file and pay. Remember to only copy text between the quotation marks. Select an area for your node. Click Finish to finish adding the node to Home Assistant. Open ESP Home Integration. Click the Just Added Node. Here you will see all the information related to this node. Do like, share and subscribe.